Hey everybody, I'm in Beijing, China right now, or more specifically, I'm in a hotel in Beijing, China, where I am about to attend Honor's launch of the Honor V30 later on this afternoon. But Honor is also launching a watch and a laptop today, and Honor gave me an early first look at its watch. Now, I haven't touched or seen the phone yet, the V30, so I'll have a second video following up on that later on. But here is the Honor Magic Watch 2. So it's a pretty standard smartwatch at first glance, but it stands out in several ways. So the first is that this watch has 14 day battery life. That's really impressive considering an Apple watch, for example, will last you maximum a day and a half, maybe two days tops if you go really light. And even the Fitbit, which has really good battery life for an Android smartwatch lasts about five days. So the, the reason Honor is able to get 14 day battery is because this runs Huawei's own Kirin A1 chipset. And this chipset is basically dual mode and it uses intelligent algorithms to save battery. The second thing I want to highlight is the watch is relatively thin compared to other smartwatches I've used. Now I don't have the Apple watch on me right now, but I have here the Fitbit Versa 2. And you see the Fitbit Versa 2 is, it's a little bit chunkier than the, than the Honor watch. Now this is the larger watch already. This is the 46 millimeter. There's also a 42 millimeter version, but that one Honor says is aimed more at females. It's a little bit smaller and it comes in this uh, Sakura pink color, like rose gold basically. This version comes with either black or silver. So this is just a quick hands-on first look. It's not a review. I'm gonna do a full review later. There's a USB-C cable. Uh, I don't know why I don't, oh, okay, it's to plug into the charger. So it still uses a proprietary charger. So you have to download Huawei Health before you can set up the watch apparently. Okay, so I've installed Huawei Health on my phone. One thing to note is that in addition to Huawei Health, you also have to download Huawei Mobile Services because as some of you guys probably know, or most of you guys probably know, Huawei phones cannot run Google's mobile services right now. So Huawei has been trying to make its own mobile services a thing. So you need this to run this app, kind of like how you need Google Play services before you can run, say, Gmail. And you also have to sign up for a Huawei ID. So it's a little bit of a hassle. Usually when you use an Android smartwatch, it doesn't take this many steps, but you know, Huawei did not want to go this route. They're forced in this situation by the U.S. government. So, you know, who, who knows? Hopefully they'll work everything out. But let's see right now if I can pair the watch. So you go to devices, add, smartwatch, I guess. So that's funny. The watch is not even showing. Okay, it's here now. Huawei Honor Magic Watch 2. Okay, so you get a pairing request right here. You just have to tap the check mark. So this is relatively uh, smooth, the pairing process. So you can enable notifications. So I'm gonna you put wear this watch right now and see whether or not notifications come through in a timely manner. Because that's very important to me that it does. So now looking at the screen, this is a 1.23 inch OLED display. As mentioned, it gets up to 800 nits of brightness and the screen looks good, man. I mean, look at it right now. It almost looks like, like it's painted onto the face. It looks like a real face. And this watch has an always on display too. So if you want, you can have this showing at all times. And you see it has a heart rate sensor. This is also waterproof up to 50 meters. I don't know the IP rating for that, but you can go swimming with it if it's 50 meters. You have a stress sensor. And now weather, I'm in Beijing, so. So now this watch has internal storage inside too. Honor did not specify like um, the configuration, like whether or not it's like one gig or two gig, but Honor says you can store around 500 songs. That's more than good enough for me. So this watch, you can use it offline because it has GPS, it has Bluetooth 5.1, and it has internal storage to store music. So the interface seems pretty straightforward. You swipe down to get these shortcut toggles and you swipe left to right to cycle through the 
I guess all your different functions and you have two buttons right here so you press the top one and you will get a list of all your apps so this feels like Android Wear right here and you press the bottom to open these are workout functionality so you can yeah, immediately go into whatever exercise you're about to do so the overall build quality is very nice this is stainless uh, the chassis is stainless steel the buttons are pretty sturdy and the screen looks great like I said and considering this watch has 14 day battery life this is not that thick so anyway I don't, I'm gonna have more on this phone I don't know the price of this yet because Chinese companies they always do this they let us test products early but they won't tell us the price so when I know the price I'll put it in the description below and definitely I will have more on this watch and the Honor V30 so the race to wake seems to work pretty nicely too but anyway, I'm going to have more on this watch and on a V30 coming up, so stay tuned to this channel. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.